Last week, we installed some of the electrical in the kitchen walls and got the plumbing place for the bathroom to the earth bag add-ons for the main house. I'm uh, redoing the soil cement in these areas we dug up and putting some regular cement in the um, areas around the pipes. Hand mixing it. Don't need a big tiller. We just need to kind of mix it up a little. Did you do soil cement around the shower or is that? Yeah, it's just soil is that cement. cement. It is soil it's cement. Just soil cement. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is not your skim layer where you're leveling it. No. It's just fill in the spots where we dug up the soil cement and try to get that leveled out a little bit. Hard work. It's good though. It's good we're doing it. And you're done. Okay, we're at a point right now that all we need to do now is skim coat this floor uh, and level it out and then uh, ready for tile. We kind of like to move a little bit slow through these phases as we're, you know, shopping around, trying to find materials for our projects. We found uh, four skylights that we're going to be putting in the kitchen. We bumped into um, four skylights, so we decided to jump in the car quickly and go and get those. Those will be used in the kitchen. And in the meantime of going to go and get those, we bumped into a vanity for Shay. Yeah. So, um, she which scored. Is, she does a lot of makeup or cosplay, or, mm -hmm. and now she can do that down there. The cute little stool under it. And I love the little black and the nice little wood in the center. A little yeah so that worked out good too we talked about different skylights that could open and close and we decided that the white bubble would be the best for bringing in light and yet not bringing in a lot of heat heat yeah that was the one thing is if yeah. we get too much heat in the kitchen then it'll just be unbearable we have three that are the same size and then the fourth one that's a little different but we have five bays so we have four skylights and we have one of the bays where the cabinets go all the way floor to ceiling and the others have windows so it's probably best to put the skylights over the window sections for keeping things balanced. I think that would be perfect. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Gizzy. Okay. Well, we got the transmission all rebuilt. So now we're gonna just put it in the truck, pull the old one out. So we're pulling the engine and transmission out and then gonna put the new one back in. The reason why I decided to rebuild the transmission was because our old one, it was bad. It was slipping out of every gear and it also had close to 300,000 miles on it. So we know we needed a new one. And after rebuilding the engine in it, I really wanted to just try and rebuild a transmission, especially because everyone's always like, oh, it's so scary. You know, you never want to rebuild automatic transmissions. There's so much to them. It was like this big challenge to me. I really wanted to do it and do it successfully. After doing some research, I found some amazing tutorials that walked you through every little detail. Like it's like 11 hours of footage that I watched in order to do this. And I couldn't have done it without Bryson and dad because there's a lot there to keep track of. After kind of seeing how it all goes together and comes apart, it's not as complex as I thought it was. In fact, I noticed a lot of similarities between it and motorcycle clutches. And the most complicated part is the valve body. As long as you keep track of all the parts and where they go, you take it apart real easy, put it all back together clean and it's good to go. So it was a lot less scary than it was made out to be. And that may be why it was less scary too. But. Thanks, Garrett. You're awesome. Like we've said before in building the walls, is each of those layers solidifies and the harder they solidify before we keep moving it, the better. And also because sometimes we forget things. We forgot to put in a outlet on the outside of the building. You're gonna make like a cleat thing, right? And then you're gonna put the little plug thing on there. And then we're gonna probably pull this stuff back and put the plug in. Okay, we just went in right into the top of the last one, which is right in through here. And this will go into the bottom of one of these. 
Oops. Whoop. Hey, Dad. Yes. Typically, you want to hold on to the sharp things in life. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it with that pair of scissors. Poke an eye out with that thing. Oh, yeah. Boom. Is it installed? Installed. That's all we needed. All done. We do forget things, so we want to be really thankful, actually, to somebody who helped us remember <laughs> something. Thank you for uh, pointing that out. That's another reason for going slow. Yeah, going you don't make long. big mistakes. You just make yeah. little mistakes. My electrical plan is probably need to move this box up higher to counter height. And the other side over here, the mirror, wherever the mirror's going to go, we'll put it right here. Or here. We're gonna do a light above here because you always have one above the sink and then we'll have one also at the front door where you walk in of course you want to be able to flick the light on. We'll have one light switch that will flick them both on and one will sit on the same bay as the skylight. Gary's gonna get those wired in so that we can then start working on the walls. We'll start stuccoing the walls. All right, Gary done now with this floor. We're going to go ahead and get started on these walls. It always takes a little while to get the stucco done. Uh, we'll add a little cement to our mixture and that way we'll have a little stronger wall. As we get work, we'll probably just work in pairs because this room's a little bit small, hard to get a lot of us in here. Oh, are you coming to watch us? Yes. <laughs> hey. I'm here for the party. Aren't you going to grab a bucket and help? I'll grab a cup and drink it. Can you get me a cup? <laughs> you know what you should no. start doing? What? Sponsoring, Sponsoring streams. <laughs> That is a genius well, idea. energy drinks, but there's nothing more energizing than water. <laughs> true. I thought you meant like for stream, like that water, you know. Oh! <laughs> I think you were doing a pun. You always do fun. Oh, that was a good one, man. <laughs> I'm excited about this room. Our goal this week was to finish the stucco in the bathroom here, but unfortunately we weren't able to make that happen. But stay tuned for next week. We really want to get through this so we can get to more exciting stuff like the kitchen. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for being a part of the My Little Homestead family. Have a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Hear this? This wind? Hear it? Sometimes there's little dust devils that float. Oh, there's one. Where'd it go? It's over there. It's the little dust devils that fly through here. That's why we're building such a strong building. So those dust devils don't knock them over. We talked a lot about different skylight because the sun is setting on that side of the house and the heat comes through that little rickety wall. Your favorite wall. My favorite there. wall. Big ugly <laughs> wall. <laughs> family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. That's not our number. That the number's out of business. Number. Actually, the bag video where we were sitting, we couldn't find him anymore. He said, here I am. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Which was good because we may need him again. I don't really know what I'm saving her from, but I'm just glad to be a hero for once in my life. <laughs> if you can fly, it means you're a superhero, you're which means busting through that roof. If she broke the ceiling, she would no longer be our hero. <laughs> Got a point. I'm glad you're zooming in on my face. I can zoom in closer. I even closer. Here, I can get even closer. There's Shay's forehead. We're too close. Okay. There's Shay's face, which we're paying no attention to. We just want the forehead, just the forehead. Oh, no, I'm not filming that now. You guys learned this too from, there's a YouTuber who. Yep, he did a whole tutorial video on it. Very thorough. And well we done. had like the exact transition he had and he rebuilt it, so I was like. And he was an older gentleman too. Yeah, I yeah. think there's a lot of these transmission rebuilds See, on there. He's got a lot of different ones too. You always feel good when you hear it from an older person, like they, For like they time. know. They know what they're talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> Most older people know what they're talking about. Really? Most. I think so. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm, like mom? Yes. <laughs> and dad. Don't forget dad. Very good. Older brothers and sisters? Nah. Mm, not so much.